Here's another way of starting an assembly using the top-down design workflow. I have prepared a layout sketch beforehand and I'm going to perform a series of extrudes but with a slight twist. Select the contour and press Q to extrude. Under Operation, select New Component. This would ensure that this extrude becomes a component of an assembly. Once you click OK, you can see that this frame has become the first component in an assembly. I'm going to repeat the same process for the other contours. Now we have a total of 5 components in an assembly that is based on a layout sketch. At this point, if we drag the individual components, they will start to move as there are no joints between the components. Under the Assemble menu, there is an S Built Joint option, which allows you to fix a component in the position that it was designed in. First, Let's create an s built joint between the main frame and the top level. Subsequently, we can add s built joints between the blocks and the frame. 